You may remember in 2008 when Oracle's then CEO and now CTO Larry Ellison called cloud computing, I quote, complete gibberish. Well, fast forward 17 years and what used to be a database company has become one of the world's major cloud service providers. The AI boom has exploded the demand for data centers, and Oracle, which provides services for many companies, including TikTok, from whom Oracle makes a billion dollars of revenue each year, Oracle recently partnered to provide OpenAI with 4.5 gigawatts of computing power. To put that into perspective, one gigawatt is enough energy to power about 750,000 U.S. homes, so OpenAI's 4.5 gigawatts is almost enough to power all the homes in Los Angeles. Unfortunately, according to an expose at Bloomberg, it looks like Oracle is in such a rush to power AI that it's in at least one case building a 1.4 gigawatt data center in Texas for which it's going to spend a billion dollars per year powering with gas generators instead of waiting to be connected to the grid. It's exactly according to plan implemented by some of the worst people in the world that the environment has faded from people's considerations in the face of all the other craziness that's going on, and even as we experienced unprecedented wildfires and weather events. And it's one thing to knowingly harm the environment to accomplish goals that are essential for human life and safety, but burning large cities' worth of fossil fuels so incels can create AI deepfake porn in their basements, while irresponsible tech companies shove AI down our throats to no constructive end other than to further enrich themselves, is just crazy. As another example, just earlier this year, Elon Musk's XAI built its Colossus supercomputer in Memphis, Tennessee, and it's become one of the biggest air polluters in the United States. This supercomputer powers Musk's Grok chatbot, and the company has plans to further expand it. Now, with typical disregard for anyone or anything else, XAI secretly installed 35 portable methane gas turbines, enormously polluting and big enough to power an entire city, without any permits at all. When discovered, XAI assured the mayor of Memphis that it was only using 15 of those, but surprise, surprise, thermal imaging showed that more than twice that many were in use. Now, OpenAI won't talk about how much energy ChatGPT5 uses, but it's been estimated that it uses over eight times more than ChatGPT4. In fact, it's estimated that the electricity consumed by data centers all around the world will be over 1,000 terawatt hours by 2026, which puts them between the energy usage of the entire countries of Japan and Russia. So that's a lot of energy. Now, I've talked about nuclear power on the show before, and frankly, if we're going to insist on squandering so much power on mostly useless AI, then nuclear is probably the only responsible choice. Indeed, Microsoft, Google, Meta, and others have decided to pursue this to some degree, but the pace of adoption is still slow. And AI is now growing faster than grid capacities and faster than renewable energy growth, so there doesn't seem to be a much better option than essentially going nuclear. And note that all of the discussion so far totally ignores the environmental impacts of the materials used to make data centers, which makes the situation even worse. So, in conclusion... It's bad enough that AI companies steal copyrighted materials, fill our feeds with slop, replace human workers with inferior chatbots, and pollute our minds with AI lies and hallucinations. But we do need to make some room on the list of complaints to include the extraordinary damage they're doing to the environment and ask ourselves if those benefits are worth the costs. You can fully expect a very different answer from the billionaire tech bros, investor addicts, and political grifters than any rational person would hopefully provide. I'm The Other Mac.